There's a lot of talk about electricity demand in our province and why we do or don't need Site C. In fact, to continue to meet the growing demand in BC, we not only need Site C, we need to install an additional generating unit at our Revelstoke facility. I'm Chris Waite. I'm the project manager for the Revelstoke Unit 6 project. Like MICA, when the Revelstoke Dam was built in the early 1980s, it was built with space for six generating units, and again we only installed four. In 2010, we added a fifth unit, and today we're planning to add a sixth. In order to understand the importance of the sixth unit at Revelstoke, it's helpful to understand the difference between energy and capacity. You can think of the electricity system like a 10-lane freeway. The number of lanes on the highway determine how much space is available for cars. This is the capacity. The number of cars on the road at any one time determine the demand. So at 11 o'clock on a Wednesday night, not all 10 lanes are needed. But during the rush hour in the morning when cars are bumper to bumper, this is peak demand. So how does this relate to us? Capacity of our electricity system is limited by the amount of electricity our facilities can produce at one time. We don't need to run at full capacity all of the time, but like that 10 lane freeway, when demand is high, we need to be able to deliver. Like at 5 p.m. on a cold December evening when people are arriving home from work, turning on the lights, cooking and watching TV. We expect the sixth unit at Revelstoke to be in service by 2026. But if our needs change, we have plans in place to complete it earlier to meet our customers' needs. With the population of BC expected to grow over the next 20 years, that's going to increase the electricity demand. That's why we're planning and investing now to ensure that we have the capacity to meet that demand. And the Revelstoke Unit 6 project is a key part of that. Now you may be wondering why we need Site C if we have Revelstoke Unit 6. Site C is being constructed to meet our long-term energy and capacity needs. In 10 years without Site C, we'd have an 8% capacity gap. Now if we don't build Revelstoke Unit 6, only one year later we'll have an even bigger capacity gap, and that's related to the maintenance work that we need to do at the MICA facility. 